How's it going everybody? My name is Alfie, aka Pujitsu, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have something really special for you guys. And no, it's not the video of me beating the brakes off of Zack in a wrestling match. That video will be in a few weeks. But you see, recently I was approached by a fellow Purple Belt, somebody who we would call vertically challenged, much like yours truly. Now, this guy came up to me during our specifics training and said something to me along the lines of, Hey Alfie, one of these days, we should sit down and talk about some of these techniques and movements you use when grappling bigger people. Well, boom, that got the gears grinding up in the old noggin, and I started really paying attention to what techniques and movements I use when I grapple people who are like twice my size. One of which I'm gonna demonstrate here today, and that is the hip heist. Well, right on. Uh, before we get directly into this video, I want to ask you guys to do me the huge honor of subscribing to my channel and giving this video a big old thumbs up. It helps me a lot more than you know, and I always very much appreciate it. All right, so the hip heist. This technique in particular is a pretty basic and simple movement within the sport of jujitsu. Some people call it a Gracie getup, some people call it the tactical getup, but it all basically follows, falls under the same, uh, the same area here. All right, the hip heist is a movement in which we go from a seated position and using a prop and a frame against our partner, we are able to elevate our hips and our head above our partners. And believe it or not, this technique I've basically been using since I was a white belt. Uh, I would use it mostly in the gi back then and I have to say it was a little bit more akin to a prey and sprawl technique. Something along the lines of this. And believe it or not, that actually still kind of works sometimes. But as I've become more learned in the sport of jujitsu, um, I've been able to take what technique was once a spazzy white belt kind of prey and sprawl and refine it into something a bit more technical and a bit more effective. Now, originally I was gonna demonstrate this movement for you guys, but I decided to call on a friend who's a bit better of a teacher and somebody who is a bit more well-versed in the intricacies of this technique. All right, let's go. Cut to Austin. All right, what's up guys? Uh, just looking at the hip ice uh, to start off with. This is basically just a crazy get up. I don't know if you've ever seen post, block hand, move your hips forward, coming up, elevation change. Here, one, two, start going to the feet. So, just looking at this with my partner, there's going to be some things that we need to keep into consideration when you're doing it. Um, a lot of times when you're working, like I may be working with a collar tie, when my partner's pulling backwards a lot of times, I like to shift my hips forward and then get backwards like so. From there, this um, I'm giving my partner availability to my leg to start wrestling and doing that kind of stuff. So, it's important that we keep a frame in the side of their collarbone with our collar tie. Uh, when we're here. And again, there's going to be reactions where they grab our legs or they get to a body lock and we need to be ready for both of these scenarios. So this is basically just an elevation change. Another thing to keep into consideration when you're doing a hip heist is, and I actually run this one the most, is when people grab my legs and I can always hip heist on the leg coming uh, back but if I had my right leg forward and I got my bottom leg grabbed, it'd be a difficult thing to come up. So playing with different gripping strategies, we're coming in, maybe my partner starts to work towards my back on a hip ice, and we're essentially just getting to a standing position, coming up, you know, working into a wrestling position. The advantages of uh, hip ice, especially with like bigger players, when you can't get your game going, there's pulling backwards, pulling backwards, pulling backwards. Switching, where we have uh, an advantage of height, can open a lot of things up. It also forces your partner to either wrestle into you or uh, or just sit back on your butt. And you can knock them over and start playing top position. Those are two things that are, are going to happen. Either they're forced to wrestle or you can just like knock them over because they're fleeing. And again, this is something I like to incorporate when 
I can't get any movement coming forward. The guy's just going backwards. I can't get any like grips going, that kind of thing. I'll post and then I'll start working from there. And uh, my partner hopefully will grab a leg, grab a body lock and start wrestling. They don't do anything. I just push them over and uh, force the action. So it, enforce, it forces them to engage and uh, you know keep the pace of the match. Yeah. Sure. So there you have it, the hip heist. Now, obviously there are many different things that could come off of this hip heist, depending on your partner's reaction. For example, your partner could dive in on a single leg. We could go cross body Kimura and hit a sumigai sweep and enter into our uh, K-Trap series. Our partner could do something along the lines of grabbing a body lock and wrestling up. From there, we could go into one of our Uchimata variations. Uh, and believe it or not, it's something that happens quite a bit is our partner could freeze. We could use a push pull and end up in a front headlock position and enter into our high elbow guillotines. And obviously those are just three of the many different reactions you could receive from your partner after hitting this hip heist. Well, there you go. I really hope this video helps uh, my fellow little guy grapplers out there. Uh, thank you to Justin and Justin and Austin for helping me put together this video. Really appreciate it. Make sure to give this technique a try. Let me know if it works for you down in the comments. Any questions, let me know. All right, thank you all for watching. I love you all. Alfie out.